Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin de Guzman and our topic for today is Factoring by Common Monomial Factor. Here are the steps of factoring the greatest common monomial factor. So number one is to determine the number of terms. Second is find the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficients. Once we know already the GCF of the numerical coefficient, the next thing that we will do is find the variable with the least exponent that appears in each term of the polynomial. It serves as the GCF of the variables. Number four is get the product of the greatest common factor of the numerical coefficient and the variable. It serves as the greatest common monomial factor of the given polynomial. Number five is find other factor by dividing the given polynomial by its greatest common monomial factor. And finally, write the final factor, factor form of the polynomial. Let's have example. Write x squared plus 2x in complete factored form. So the first thing that we will do is, of course, identify the number of terms. So by looking at this one, we have actually two terms. Next thing that we will consider is determine the greatest common number in terms of number. Ask yourself, what is the greatest number that can divide 4 and 2? And that number is 2. Next. In terms of the variable, we have x. Okay? So, the next thing that we will consider is the lowest exponent of the variable. So, let's identify the exponent of x squared, which is 2. Well, the exponent of x is actually 1. So, it means, so, the lowest exponent of the variable x is equal to 1. All right. So therefore, this is our greatest common monomial factor. Next, to find the other factors, so what we're going to do is divide 4x squared divided by 2x. This will give us 2x. Next, 2x divided by 2x is equal to 1. So therefore, this is the factor form. So we have 4x squared plus 2x is the same as 2x times 2x plus 1. Now, to verify whether your answer is correct or not, so to check, let's try to multiply 2x times 2x plus 1. So let's distribute. 2x times 2x, this is 4x squared. Well, 2x plus 1, or 2x times 1, is equal to 2x. So therefore, the factors of x squared plus 2x is equal to 2x times 2x plus 1. Let's have another example. So write 5x squared minus 10x cubed in complete factor form. So again, so we'll be, we will consider 5x squared minus 10x cubed. Then ask yourself, in terms of numbers 5 and 10, what is the greatest number that can divide 5 and 10? And that number is equal to 5. Next, let's move on to the variable. The variable is x. And we will look for the lowest exponent. We have 2 and 3. And the lowest exponent or the lower exponent is equal to 2. So the exponent of x is equal to 2. So therefore, 5x squared is the greatest common monomial factor. Now, to find the other factors, we will divide the given polynomial. So we have 5x squared divided by 5x squared. And the answer is equal to 1. Okay? We have subtraction, so right here, minus. Then we have 10x cubed divided by 5x squared. And the answer is 
to x. So now let's consider problem number 3. Write 25x squared y cubed minus 55xy cubed in complete factor form. So again, so we will consider the given. So we have 25x squared y cubed minus 55xy cubed. So the first thing that we will consider is, ask yourself, what is the greatest number that can divide 25 and 55? And that number is equal to 5. Next, on the variable, we have x and y. So let's consider first the variable x, then the variable y. On the variable x, look for the lowest exponent. Okay, we have 2 here, and this is 1. So we have x to the first power or simply as x. Next, on the variable y, okay, so we can rewrite this one as simply as q. Okay, so therefore, 5xy cubed is the greatest common monomial factor of the given polynomial. Okay, next, divide 25x squared y cubed by 5xy cubed. So number first, 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5. Then we have x squared divided by x is x. Y cubed divided by Y cubed is simply as 1. So, or simply as, we have now the factor as 5X minus 55 divided by 55 is equal to 11. X divided by X will give us simply as 1. So we don't need to react that as a factor. Then we have y cubed divided by y cubed is simply as 1. So again, we don't need to write that one. So therefore, this is our answer as a complete factor form. Now, to check whether our answer is correct or not, let's multiply 5x y cubed times 5x minus 11. So distribute. So 5 xy cubed times 5x will give us 25x squared y cubed. Then, we have 5xy cubed times 11, so that will give us 55xy cubed. So therefore, this is actually true. So let's move on to problem number 4. Factor 10c cubed minus 80c to the 4th power minus 5c to the 6th power minus 25c to the 7th power. Again, so the first thing that we will consider is actually your greatest common factors in terms of numbers. So we have 10, 80, 5 and 25. What is that number that can divide all of these numbers? And that number is actually 5. Next, the variable is C, right? C. So let's write C. Then we will look for the lowest exponent of the variable. We have here 3, 4, 6, and 7. And the lowest exponent is 3. So therefore, our greatest common monomial factor is 5c cubed. Then, to look for the other factors, we will divide 10c cubed divided by 5c cubed. So this will give us only as 2. Then we have 80 divided by 5. So let's consider minus sign. So we have 16. Then, c to the fourth power divided by c cubed, that is simply as c. Minus 5c cubed divided by uh, c6 uh, divided by 5c to the third power. So it will result as simply as c to the third power. And finally, so we have subtraction here. 25c to the seventh power divided by 5c cubed. So this will give us 5c to the fourth power.
So therefore, this is the complete factored form of the given polynomial. Let's move on to problem number 5. Factor 12m cubed n squared minus 6m squared n cubed plus 3mn. So, let's rewrite the given. So, look for the greatest common factor between 12, 6, and 3. So, that is look for the greatest number that can divide all of this number. And that number is actually 3. Next, let's consider the variable. So, we have m and n. m and n. Let's look first on the variable m. So, look for the lowest exponent. We have 3, 2, and 1. So, simply as m na lang. And finally, on the variable n, so we have n squared, n cubed, and n. So, therefore, so we simply write as n. So, therefore, this is the greatest common monomial factor of the given polynomial. Next, to find the other factors is divide 12 m cubed n squared divided by 3mn. So that is 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then we have m cubed divided by m is equal to m squared. Then n squared divided by n is in simply as m. So next, write subtraction. We have 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then we have m because m squared divided by m is equal to n. n cubed divided by n will give us n squared. And finally, 3mn divided by 3mn is simply as 1. So therefore, this is the complete factor of the given polynomial. So that ends our discussion on factoring the greatest common monomial factor. Again, this is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.